Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe. maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yes, yeah, somebody wants me. Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. On this week's episode, we are going to be talking about what to include in a highlight tape and what to exclude in a highlight tape and give highlights of some of the most puzzling things I've ever seen uh, that's been sent to me on players thinking that they've got highlights when they're actually not. Now, highlights are very important. Sometimes it's a snapshot uh, and it's the only chance a coach is going to get to evaluate you and what you put in there is very important. If you put good stuff in there, it can have a coach show interest and reply back to you. If you put bad stuff in there, they're going to dismiss you right away and you'll never hear from that coach. Okay, so it's very important. So let's talk about first, what are the top five things you need to include in your highlight tape? First, put a bio card in the beginning. What's a bio card? That's what says your name, your class year, uh, GPA, height, weight, position, phone number, uh, high school program. It's just a quick bio. It takes about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, so a coach can write down this information, and then that can start off your video. Many times in videos as well, you might see or might get something sent to me, and I have no idea who's on the video. All right, so also in your bio card, put like, hey, for the first minute, I'm number 12 in black. The second part of the video, I'm number 14 in white or blue. Make sure you know what number it is because you'd be amazed how many highlights get sent, and it takes a long time to figure out who who is this? Is the passer, the shooter? Um, so bio card to start. Second up, showcase all of your skills, right? Basketball is more than just shooting. It's passing, it's defense, it's rebounding, it's sprinting down the court, it's taking charges, blocking shots, et cetera, et cetera. So showcase all of your skills. Um, third up, group all your skills together, right? Now, Let's start about the first couple highlights and why these are important. So after the bio card, you're then going to have your top three highlights because you want to wet your coach's whistle that you're sending this to and say, hey, this is some highlights of mine throughout my playing career. Here are the top ones, whether it's a dunk, whether it's a great shot, whether it's a game winner, put your top three first. Then after that, I would group them together, right? So three-point shooting, mid-range, post moves, uh, defense, steals, charges, blocks, um, assists, um, you know, whatever you want to put in there, group it together, and that just makes it easier for the coach. All right. Fourth, have game footage available. So if this wets a coach's whistle and they like what they see in the highlights, they're going to want to see game footage. And why is that? Well, I right now, as a middle aged 40 year old, uh, could put together a highlight tape with someone filming me and I'd look pretty good. But they want to see what happens. And by they, I mean college coaches and prep school coaches. What happens when something goes wrong? What happens when you miss a shot? Do you jog back or you sprint back to make up for that miss or that turnover? How are you on the bench? Are you getting up and clapping? Are you supporting your teammates? Are you sulking? Are you arguing with the ref or the coach? All this stuff is stuff that coaches are not going to see in a highlight tape that they'll see in a game tape. All right? So have the best quarter or half ready to go in a link that you can send this coach if they ask for it. Okay? Um, And then fifth... If you um, were limited by COVID or can't get any game footage for an injury or something like that, you can always put together individual workout footage. It's going to be about 15 minutes long. And once again, it's going to showcase your skill set. You're dribbling, you're shooting at different ranges, and then ideally you're going to have one-on-one footage and two-on-two footage so coaches can see you know, your skill set, your decision-making, how you cut, how you move. And I can't emphasize enough this needs to be game speed. And no one wants to see uh, too many minutes of double ball drills or dribbling around cones. Just do some full speed dribbling um, and incorporate that in your shooting. Maybe you take off from half court, you dribble in, do a pull up jumper, or you hesitate and get to the, the cup. You know, just figure it out, but do stuff that coaches would want you to see. All right. These videos should not be longer than three to four minutes. All right. Over that's pretty much overkill. So if you only got a minute, that's fine too. Remember, this is to wet coach's whistle, right? I've said that many times, but you want to get them intrigued by this. Um, It does not have to be a full catalog of your career. I don't want to see also highlights from two years ago. That's moot to me, all right? I want to see the most recent highlights from either your high school season 
or your AAU season. And a lot can happen between March when your high school season ends and July or August when your last AAU session might be. So the more recent highlights, the better. Okay. So those are the five things you need to do. Let's talk about things you need to keep out of your highlight video, right? Number one, this one still blows my mind that kids will have uh, music in their videos with explicit lyrics. All right. That immediately tells me your decision making is off. I'm done. I'm not going to look any farther because you can't realize that this music is not appropriate to send to a prep school coach, a consultant, or a college coach. There's too many players out there. Do not make it easy for them, these coaches, to just dismiss you. And bad, bad language in, in, in highlight videos is an easy way to do that. Okay. Two, don't show three th free throws in your highlight videos. Maybe if it's to win a game, sneak it in at the end, but no one wants to see the setup. If you are putting in a free throw, just show getting the ball, shooting it so a coach can see your form and, and edit, edit it as crisp and clean as possible if you must put it in. But you'd be amazed at the highlights you'd see of someone, everyone setting up the free throw line, the ref passing the guy the ball, him dribbling, him setting up, him shooting, ball going in and doing it again. Like, could be 45 seconds and it tells me nothing all right third over dribbling some kids just dribble 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 that is a stagnant offense that means you're not getting good passes to other players not making moves you're doing nothing all right no one wants to see that so take that out half speed when i see a kid going half speed in highlights it's it's it, it means what are you going to do in a game if this is a highlight you think you can go half speed um Think again, right? I want to see game speed. I'm going to talk about um, some stuff I saw, uh, some some bad examples at the end of this, but you know, I'm going to tell you a half-speed example here in a second. Comments. Sometimes these highlight videos have parents filming them commenting. You don't want to have that, right? You don't want to have that. That can be very detrimental. And me as a, a consultant and coaches are like, huh, is this parent with their comments going to be a problem if I take this kid on? So be very cognizant of that. And then fancy editing, right? Uh, all these slow motion highlights and, you know, and, and replays and slow-mo and different colors. No one wants to see that. That can be for your friends. That can be for social media. Uh, coaches, consultants, don't care. It just makes me once again wonder about what are you thinking here? Is this about your highlight video or is this about you trying to get to the next level? We don't need all that fancy stuff, okay? Now, with all that being said, I'm going to give you a few examples of terrible highlights I've seen. In fact, I'll call these lowlights because it was just mind-blowing seeing them. One, I had a kid reach out from um, the continent of Africa saying he's 7'2", 15-year-old. And when he finally sent me a workout video, he looked about 25 years old and 5'10". Be honest with what you say. All right. Secondly, I had a guy who sent me a minute 20 and one minute 20 second long video. One minute of it was him getting fouled and everybody setting up at the free throw line. And when he finally shot the free throw, which was one on one, he missed it. Another guy got the ball on the other team. He went down, chased him, stole it, got fouled again. That was it. That was it. It was one sequence, not even a great sequence. Another one was a kid for five minutes in a, in a foreign country dribbling with two balls, and he did not have command of the ball. So balls were going everywhere nonstop and didn't edit it out. And it was just, it, it was just a low light. Um, and the last one, my favorite was a kid from France who sent me a highlight video of him dunking a mini basketball on a short, on a, on a lowered goal while he's in jeans. I think that one takes the prize right there. So anyway, that is what you need to include in a highlight video. That's what you need to exclude in a highlight video. And those are some examples of just some of the low lights we've seen and, Coaches have those low lights, and it's just we kind of talk about them in our in our world a little bit of like, hey, you gotta. If you ever got a highlight that looks like this, and it's it's amazing what you see. So follow these instructions. Make sure a coach does not dismiss you when he gets your highlight video. Make sure it's got all the stuff I just mentioned. I'll put it below in the show notes. I'll also link to an article from my website on prepathletics.com that says the same thing, and. That's today's episode. Pretty simple stuff, but it's very important, especially now that the season is starting. All right, this is coming out in August. Um, you can use your highlight footage from this summer, but when you start reaching out to prep school coaches and college coaches, make sure your highlight video is not something that's going to get you canceled out. 
This has been another uh, episode of the Prep Athletics Podcast. If you like it, feel free to subscribe on YouTube or on all the major podcasting platforms. Go to prepathletics.com to sign up for the newsletter so you never miss anything. And if you ever have any questions or concerns or comments, feel free to reach out to me. My contact info is on the website. Thanks so much for joining. We'll talk to you soon.